All right, welcome back to Problem Solver Politics. I am your host, Cardin Ellis, with Cody the Oracle. Hey, everyone. And we're going to continue fighting the good fight or following the good fight online with a meme war update. Cody, what's going on? Yes, of course. This is the next in our series of the meme war 2020 update. It's coming up soon. Um, so I'm going to start it off a little bit, you know, a little bit more to kind of lighter and we'll kind of move on to some other stuff. I guess lighter is not a good word, but anyway, it's on the screen. You'll see it right now. Uh, Van Jones, speaking of, shout out. He's a definitely a, a big Yang fan of their CNN. This video right. came out about a couple days ago of Andrew Yang jazzercising and I believe it was South Carolina. I'll see if I can full screen it for you guys. Never mind. Um, anyway, I thought this was funny because this is kind of a little bit of a lead in to what we want to talk about today. Uh, we've talked about this before in the past. This is, I think, our third video on the topic now where we kind of look and just see what are people actually kind of self-publishing online for their support for Andrew Yang or sometimes their detraction of others. Uh -huh. um, so I wanted to highlight this. This is blowing up a gun viral. A very cute moment of Andrew Yang jazzercising with a bunch of... um. Uh, woman, I, I said I think it's in South Carolina. So anyway, we're gonna move on to some other stuff here. So bear with us when we go to the first one. Now, this is gonna totally date me. I first jazzercised, mousercised to the Disney DVD in fifth grade with the song that said "Go You Chicken Fat Go" on a wax disc LP that the teacher still had. Wow, man! Can you freaking believe that? Hold up, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch the meme order. Give me one second. Okay, you want me to keep talking about the jazz no, and ready. mouse size experience? I'm ready. No, I'm ready. I think okay. this is topical. I think okay. this is relevant now. So anyway, we're going to start the first one. This one I thought was pretty funny. We'll get to you. And it says, uh, Trump starts speaking, Yang, okay, boomer. And I love <laughs> how they didn't properly resize the image. I don't know. If it's intentional, it's genius to make it like a, like a boomer meme where everything's stretched and like spread across. Like someone uh -huh. just kind of like, oh, you just click and drag, right? It's like, no, nah, you got to resize it. Otherwise, <laughs> it looks like this. I think if that if that is intended, this is a genius meme. Um, if that not, uh, learn to resize photos, uh, no flame. It's just, you, you, it'll look better if you do. So that is real. All right. Next one. Um, so that was the first one. Uh, next one, we're going to go back to this. <laughs> I actually got a pretty good at this one. This one, I guess a shout out to the Indian hitman. I believe is who's credit credits in this one. Oh, this is a good point. Uh, condoms are made by automated assembly lines, meaning robots are literally helping to prevent human reproduction. And Andrew Yang intensifies with the lightning. Oh, it's like the cute. reverse matrix. I like that one. Yeah, that, that, that was that. Was, I thought that was a good one. Uh, so next, moving on. This by the is, way, don't his this eyes is a little more. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll go back one second. Okay. What about his eyes? I was gonna say that, that totally reminds me of. Who was the Asian guy that fought in Mortal Kombat I was about that to, controlled lightning? I wanted to cut you off Raiden. As soon as you said, who was Raiden? Raiden? That's what you're thinking of Raiden. Yes. That was it. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. That is funny. As soon as you said, who was? I'm like, oh, Raiden. This is going to ask him. Right? Yeah. Something about. Uh, this next one's a, just a general Marianne Williamson one. I just wanted to start it off in here. It's kind of a shout out to the Orb gang out there on Twitter. They're out there. There's another one of the candidates people are actually making memes about. Um, we're going to go to some more later. This was just kind of a general way to introduce a little bit of a shout out to them. So shout out to the Orb gang, right? Uh, this one is a little... Oh, you got to explain this one to me. I, I got to expand this a little bit. Okay, this one really makes me laugh. This one really makes me laugh. Um, <laughs> and then we got to get to some of the ones that were in Discord from our we, chat two days oh, ago. That most, was awesome. No, most of these do come from our Discord, by the way. I'll have the link okay. in the description if you want to check out more. We have a meme section of our Discord. Uh, please share. Like I said, it doesn't matter who you're for. We have Delaney memes. We got Marion Williamson memes. We got plenty of Yang memes. We got general memes. Um, we firmly believe that, like 2016... It actually does matter what stuff, what content is being spread by the people, the voters. You know, that actually matters. And here's one right here. It says, uh, hello, my name is uh, Judy and I, work for, and I work for Amazon. We are treated very well and I love my coworkers. My manager listens to me and I have plenty of bathroom breaks. There is no war in, in Ba Song Se. Uh, I probably pronounced that wrong. This is a reference to the uh, TV show Avatar, cartoon Avatar, ran on the Nickelodeon network. Avatar, the last airbender, airbender, uh -huh. not to be confused with the James Cameron films. Um, and this is, a, to be frank, I'm not 100% up on my uh, Avatar lore, but the joke here is that, you know, you have an Amazon employee saying, everything is great, they treat us fine, I love it. And then she's referencing a character from the Avatar show where... Um, that's the last line. There is no war. Like, that is one of those statements. Like, what do you mean there is no war? I, I've never said that there is no war in the United States of America. It's like, oh, yeah, I know. What are you talking about? So that's the joke. There was a war in Boston State. So the joke is it's a kind of mis mis in an intentional misinformation representative. Like, a, you know, like a, ca a held captive, you know? All right. I do work one. for Amazon, and we are treated very well, and I love my coworkers. My manager, lis my manager listens to me. That's weird. What, what, what's the inverse of that? And so, I have plenty of bathroom breaks. Yeah, there is no war in Boston State. I love that line. That's this is a good one. Um, I'll try to see if I can give a. I, I hope this came from the guy I'm uh, at Juan Pa J B Brammer. Hope so, because if not, I'll give credit. Unfortunately, if you guys let me know, let me know in the description. 
Okay, um, next. This one's this one's from about a week ago. Sorry, let me make it. Let me <laughs> change the size of it. This, I like this one a lot. This is a Simpsons meme. You know, Simpsons classic. Uh-huh. And it says, here's the DNC throwing out Yang's fourth qualifying poll. And the DNC's like, all right, we got him. He's out of here. <laughs> and then Yang appears. But for the context, uh, Yang originally had reached the four qualifying polls for the debate stage. And they uh, said one of the polls wasn't going to count because of a rule based on how many you could have from one organization. And then he did get the poll about a few weeks later. So that's the joke here. Oh, that's, that's funny. That's well, another good one. Uh, moving I'm glad on. other people are picking up on this now. Anyway, keep I told going. You oh my I told gosh! You there's more Marion Williams. In the, if this, but here's the thing, though. I will say, there's no offense, no flame to the Marion Williamson crowd. <laughs> but like, what does this mean? Like, I don't. Like, we're gonna get to some more later. That kind of <laughs> sell Andrew Yang a bit and tell you what he's about. Is this what Marion Williams is about? Giant cat monsters terrorizing people, like with orbs. It's funny. Well, because she had a cat and it died, remember? I know, but it's funny, but it doesn't sell Marianne Williamson. You know what I mean? Okay. It is funny. I'm laughing, but I'm not saying, oh, but that's actually a good point about our policy. There's some Yang ones further on you'll you'll see and go, oh, is that, I get that one. That is awesome. This one, I don't see it. I uh, see it. Here we go. This is a good example. <laughs> this one I like, dude. This one I like. Uh, I don't know if this, is, if this is from our, I don't know if it's an edit. of. It looks like an edit. Uh, if not, uh. shout out to this guy. I guess, please let me know in the description if I got them wrong. But this one I love, man. This is my favorite one. So you have an FBI agent who's monitoring, like the FBI, the proverbial FBI agent who monitors your internet at, your internet use, uh, seeing someone Google Andrew Yang and say, "Oh, I'm, thank God you're doing it, man. I'm, I'm really proud of you for Googling Andrew Yang." So here we go. You bring it in Google Andrew Yang a little bit, but we have some more coming on that are a little more. Uh, this one, okay. This one's a little. Oh, bit, this one's good. It's. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I might just scroll down on the screen. Um, so this one starts off. Anyway, this is in reference to Joe Rogan potentially moderating a presidential debate. Yeah, yeah. This this was so it goes there here making fun of every Joe Roganism is- out there. It was funny. Keep going. I love how they have the hat on uh, on, on um, um Rachel uh, Maddow's the uh, the Yang hat. That, that automation stuff was crazy, guys. Have either of you tried DMT? No, I'm from. That's crazy. Have you ever done UBI? And then uh, oh, sorry, move it up for you guys. And then there's Elon Musk. Yeah, everyone's tried UBI. Have you ever tried Jim Bong <laughs> stage? <laughs> Gibberish. Oh, this, this is above me, above my pay grade. And then anyway, so it's a, I do think it is worth pointing out though that like yeah, well, what would a Joe, I don't think a Joe Rogan moderated debate would turn into the proverbial, or not the proverbial, but all the you know the Rogan memes like oh chimpanzees and DMT. But I do think it would be a little bit different. And this is a talking about MMA way. and DMT. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. This is one of my favorite ones. Whoever oh. Made this, that- Savage. Whoever made obviously the whoever made. Oh, the, I didn't see that one before. <laughs> that one. is savage. I, I, I in the last stream. You the Kamala Harris edition. Just go to jail. <laughs> You're either going to jail or in jail. That's a. That's and again though the reason why memes like this can be effective is because that's one of the lines of attack against Kamala Harris as a prosecutor. She locked up a ton of people and she was very. I mean, she was a good prosecutor, right? A lot of people went to jail. So there's that is the. Like I said, the Marion Williamson is the giant cat. That's funny. This is funny because I'm like, yeah, Kamala Harris sent a lot of people to jail. So Kamala Harris monopoly is go to jail. And in reference to Andrew Yang, where a lot of Andrew Yang often uses the kind of reference of Dude, UBI is kind of like receiving money when you pass go. You know, you can't play Monopoly without that. Well, Kamala thinks you can't play Monopoly, period, because you go to jail. So that's oh, a good that's one. that's funny. This is, I wanted to include this <laughs> as just a shout out to <laughs> I. We've said before, and I'm going to be fair, man. If I see good memes from a certain candidate, I'm going to bring them up. Uh-huh. This the John. This isn't no offense. This isn't the standout John Delaney meme, but I'm seeing some funny stuff from John Delaney. Somebody has a John Delaney 2020 YouTube channel that shows up in our live streams and yeah. just like pretends to be John Delaney. I think it's humorous. So I wanted to make sure I included the fact that there are John Delaney memes out there for 2020. Speaking yeah. of, oh, it's my favorite of the, the loaf of bread. T- to be frank, this is another one of those memes. It just it doesn't his head look like a loaf of bread? It's like, I guess. Sort of. It's funny. I don't know. That's I get a kick funny. out of it. But, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to make sure we included some John Delaney That he material. looks like the character. Okay, what's this one? This one's a little bit interesting. I have to admit, I am ignorant to this anime. So I don't get the joke. I, I actually don't get the meme entirely because I don't know about the anime. Ooh, are we going to have to get some explanations in the comments? Oh, I guarantee. I hope someone in the comments has seen this anime who could further enlighten okay. us. But there's the joke. You see Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren beating up on someone, and Marianne Williamson notices and then joins in in beating yeah. up on the centrists, by the way. That's who, if you can see that, it's the centrists right here. So, okay. Worse, don't get the anime. Eh, so that kind of weak. I don't. Well, I, I don't get all the context, admittedly. But yeah. I thought it was worth highlighting. This, this is one of my favorite ones. I'm a big fan of the show Trailer Park Boys, anyway. But I love this one, dude. With this Yang, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars because there's, 
th that's literally a line uh, from, you can see the ad of the zero, but if you're familiar with the show, uh, this char the character on the right gets a lot of money at one point, so it goes to the character yeah. on the left, who's essentially, he's not, but landlord is a good word for this, and he's, I'm, I'm going to give you $100 to just like F off and go away. <laughs> And uh, this meme has been passed around a lot since the Yanks have pulled up. So I wanted to, I wanted to get it in there of Yang just saying, I'm going to give you a thousand dollars a month to f off and just go away poverty. That's a good one. Again, memes being used to get across platform. I think that's really what the <laughs> this one makes me laugh. <laughs> or it's just you know basically the notion of all well, Tulsi Gabbard's out there really taking it to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Andrew Yang's just kind of chilling in the background, which is again a pretty accurate surmise of the uh... position we're in today. Where Tulsi doesn't care. I mean, dude, Tulsi took out Kamala big time in the debate. Yeah, that was, Yang, that was a wrecking ball. You know what? You could refer to what this gentleman on the right is doing as doing his own thing. And I, I think Andrew Yang is definitely doing his own thing right now. So we wanted to get that one. I thought that was really funny. Uh, moving. <laughs> the context on this one is a little racy, but I think it's really hilarious. Um, <laughs> is that a Snapchat Yeah, the, con the context is that, you know, I sent you intimate photos of myself please respond um and that that meme gets passed around a lot you know i showed you my ex please respond oh, so I just Andrew, you a you a dollars, please, please respond, respond. <laughs> it's a good one it's a good one that, that is my favorite yeah there was a girl on twitter who used to post pictures of herself holding a gun at the screen that said like i, I showed you my uh, my penis answered me those are fine i thought those were humorous so That's this funny. reminds me of that i thought it was humorous did you just limit our video by saying the P word? Uh, no, nah, it's too late. Oh, happened. okay. Uh, this is just a, not, another one. It's effective because this is literally oh. what he's talking about. Dude, imagine that, though. What would it look like when you get your UBI? Would it look like this? Presidential That's alert? That's true. $1,000. Like, oh, cool. I mean, I, I wonder. We need to pass that just so we can have the new comedic economy of hey, just hey, GIFs and, I know and you're, memes. I know, I know you're not. You, I know you, you, know, you, don't, you don't drink. However, I'm just trying to imagine what would it be like if, let's say, the first of the month was like a Friday night and you're at a bar. <laughs> And everybody in the bar's phone blows up because they all just got a thousand dollars. Like, what would that actually be like? You know, or you're anywhere, you're in public, and people are. Just, you're at a casino, and all of a sudden you're bling bling bling. Everyone's like, got my thousand bucks. Like, I, I really That's wonder funny. what the because here's the one thing about people talk about the rightfully so to talk about the stuff about UBI that actually matters, right? Like, would it help people? Is it better than other stuff, right? They talk about that. I wonder what the American culture around it would be. Would it be that kind of culture? It's Thursday night. We're at the bar and everyone's like, three, two, one. And everyone's phone goes off like, what? You know what I mean? Like, what? Because the culture will develop around it. You know, Americans will make it no. their own. They'll, you know, is it going to like, what? what is it going to be like? And I think that's really interesting and curious. Um, so I, I, that's one thing I like about, like I said, it's the reason why this stuff's important, man. It can kind of get your brain working and kick, kick some gear in. And it can, you know, it can, it can, even though it's a simple picture, it could get a lot more across. A pi as they say, a picture with a thousand words, right? So. Yeah, that's funny. This one, the one on the right cracks me up, man. I'm getting ready for the Marion William prison. <laughs> so the, the glitter, oh my God, that, 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 that's hilarious. Um, th this one on the right gets the Marion Williamson platform better across. Them. I'm going to harness love and I'll meet you on that field and sir. Love will win. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that is a quote, right? Um, that is awesome. Because that, that's the stuff about Mary Williams Williams pain that's interesting. I don't like everything about her, but I do like that confident, like, the way that she'll just say, like, oh, like, like there's the, 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 the tweet I love where someone's like, I get where you're coming from, Marianne, but, you know, like, love didn't win the Battle of Stalingrad, and she's like, actually, yeah, it did. So yeah. <laughs> I, I love that confidence. You know, she just brings that, and I want to see more of it. Uh, this, this one's probably one of my favorites as well. Uh, this one cracks me up. I, again, if the boomer stuff's intentional, even better. If not, yeah, step it up. Um, the anti Yang memes, and it's and this is actually an edit. It's supposed to be anti Trump memes, something else. But okay. I love the Yang gang memes. It win you thousand dollars, like Lamau bottom text. Uh, in other words, saying, like you get thousand dollars a month. What else do you want to hear from me? I know we've been critical of him lately. Yeah. The idea of him kind of letting himself be represented as the UBI guy and nothing else. Uh -huh. This meme doesn't help, but at the same time. I find it's it really the funny. economy stupid exactly I find it really funny the notion of like like yeah like you know people who are trying to make like oh you be as a Trojan horse because x y and z and then Yang's like you get a thousand bucks what else you want to hear you yeah, know what more you want from me you know Lamau bottom text another way of saying that yeah, so that's funny that one I found to be really humorous I think we're going to the end here okay here's what I want exactly here's what I wanted to get to at the very end we're, we're going to kind of do a please let us know if you think this is boring or you like it, we're going to do a little bit of a kind of like meme lore walkthrough here. Why is this funny? Because the reason why I bring it up is because I showed this to Cardin and I said, oh, dude, this is really funny. And he looked at it and said, I don't get it. What do you mean it's really funny? 
So yeah, you got to you got to you got to describe to our audience the the history behind this. There's, there's context. I think it's funny. Anyway, taking it to the meme, the idea is that you have Andrew Yang standing off to the side on the debate stage, just being like, "Oh my God, all these people are just repeating the same stuff. Uh, they're preaching about nothing. They're talking about boomer stuff, uh, and this is like this is awful." There is th- this came from a meme from God like a decade ago. Right. It's the idea of somebody like, oh, I want to go to a party and be sociable. And then you go to the party to be sociable. And yeah. oh, no, I wish I was at home playing video games. The music is too loud. My feet hurt. I'm like, that's the joke. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go out and do a party with people. It's what people do. Right. And you uh-huh. go there. And you're like, Oh, no, it's awful. So that I thought was funny is because we have here an example of, you know, Andrew Yang. Like, oh, my God, finally, I'm on the debates. I could speak my mind. I can let the American people know what I'm about. I've always wanted to be in the debate stage, and I thought I was going to run. And then he gets there, and, oh, no, it's awful. I hate it. This is terrible. No, this is awful. That's the joke here. Like like I said, I, it's like, like I was telling Carden earlier, when I read this kind of thing, I just, in my head, insert, my feet are hurt, I'm hungry, I Since wish I was home. you know the history of all the memes behind it, then well, there's just, this automatic the context, yeah. context that just but makes it funnier. Yeah. I think the point they're making is hilarious. The idea of, like, Andrew Yang being like, oh, I can't wait till I get in the debate stage. I can finally tell people what I'm actually about, let people know what I really mean and then he gets there and it's just people yelling over each other repeating the same stuff it's awful and boring and it doesn't help at all and I thought that was really funny um so anyway I mean we went longer on this maybe we, we should have but okay I, I do like to just bring up and highlight what people uh-huh. online are actually really talking about and like I said man love them or hate them memes get ideas across faster and more effective than actual discussion does a lot of the time so yeah. <laughs> it's important and like I said some, sometimes you have ones that are pretty effective at getting across your message very, very, very quickly. Um, like I said, it's one of my favorites, the way he gets it across. You know? The idea of, like, it's going to give you money, make the problem go away. Even though I disagree That's with that notion most funny. of the time, I think it's funny in this case. So, I don't know. Is there anything you want to add to this? That was just my that was my bit. No, that was hilarious. I mean, th- th- this is... I love these videos. Oh, there is one that I want to add. We had a really funny one in the Discord channel. Um, actually, no, we'll share this in the next video. It was really funny. Actually, some of our fans had some really hilarious memes yep. that I want to highlight in an upcoming oh, video. By the way, glad you brought that up. Um, I'm going to be posting the link to our Discord channel below. Uh, if you have anything you'd like us to see, I, I used to send it to me on Twitter, but still do. However, if you use Discord as well, we'll have a link in the description. You guys can go there and send us some more stuff if you want any of your content in the next video. And please let me know if we failed to uh, mention anyone who did it. I'd love to shout you guys out in the next video, which is I always struggle finding out Was it posted by this person or created? So if you created it, shout out, let me know. Awesome. So if you guys have any opinions, please spout them out in the comments below. We still try and respond to all the comments that we can. Uh, If you guys haven't subscribed to our video yet, there's going to be an icon right here. If you want to watch more videos, there's going to be two icons right here. And also, if you guys want to contribute to the channel, check out the PayPal link that's going to be in the description below. This is Problem Solver Politics.